we're just doing a warm up. This is the first thing you do when you first hop on one of these Carol bikes. Um, you want to calibrate it first to you, heart rate, pedal speed, and then usually by the third, or sometimes even the first, depending on the person's athletic ability. And it also tells you to breathe, so right now it's telling you to inhale, exhale. And right now it's just kind of testing me out. Now this is like my fifth time probably doing this. And uh, after the second ride, it's gotten better. Um, I put one of my friends on here, and then with his data, it uh, kind of messed it up a little bit, and uh, it made it even harder. Uh, he, I think he has better leg strength than I do. Um, and that one was a brutal ride. And then the ride after that was even more brutal. Uh, and it definitely works. Uh, so we're just going to do sprinting when we get close. Right now it's just testing my heart rate, so it's at 113, and my power, it's not much, it's like 20, 26, that's it. And I'm just breathing nicely, and this whole workout really spans like 20 minutes. But the key here is when we get to the sprint part, the screen turns red, and then we sprint literally like, you know, we just rob the bank. And, uh, you know, it's like that movie Heat, or, or if you're like uh, in combat or something. And, uh, and that's the whole point, is you want to get to a state of high intensity. And bikes are great. Um, I have a, what is it called, one of those uh, Dynabacks. Uh, like a, it's, not a, it's not from Rogue Fitness, that's a good bike. Um, I have the Salt Bike, that's what it is. And that's very popular. But for that one to get, for you to be better with that one is every time you just have to go harder and then you have to kind of trick, you know, the system by, you know, really doing more, you know, just kind of doing more, I guess the best way of saying it. With this, you can get more out of this because the attention is, the, is pretty much the key here. The attention, the computer here tells how much tension it's going to put when you sprint. So if you pedal at the beginning, when you pedal at a 10, and you get down to, you know, you get down to when you're tired, right here, here's telling me to sprint now as fast as possible. It's not gonna look pretty, all right. But I'm not sweating, so I'm good. It's not about sweating anyways. It's gonna, it's gonna get red, and sprint as fast as possible. It's about maximizing. Sweating doesn't mean, you not sweat anything. Oh yeah, I beat my time last time. Whew. Oh, that was good. And I honestly wanted to give up. Probably like, maybe like four or five seconds ago. I would be probably 10 now. And my heart rate is, it says, it's literally 164 now. Oh, that's not too bad. But the percentage of it says it's 90. So that's good. I maximized that well. And last time, my number, my spread number was 800. That's my level. And uh, my watts, even, my wattage, my power output was even better. I might have to change the seat, but I realized it's not really the seat. You're pedaling it really hard, and where you really feel it, from a muscular standpoint, it's your butt. You really feel it right in where the butt and the hamstring interconnect, and you're like, oh man, the seat's kicking my butt, but it's not the seat, <clears throat> not at all. Because I've sat here and just pedaled for a good like half an hour without it being on. And it's not it, it's just your muscles are tired as hell. And 
just like any other high intensity training. It's about really force output. And if you can keep the force output high, that's where you maximize. That's why it's important to have a partner, have a buddy, even if you don't have a facility like this. And that's, that's the most important thing. You need to have there someone coaching you, either doing it with you, or you need to have a program that's gonna do it with you, or you need to have a friend. So that's why people get trainers. You actually do 40% better with trainers. And I don't really need, if, I can, if you want me to find some peer review studies on that, I can, but it's not necessary. We know that's the case. That's how the military works too. When you're in the military, group training is the best. And so why people go out there and they give it all their own. Oh, we're getting close to the sprint again. It's gonna hurt. Come on, get in the green slot. it was consistent and the maximal didn't go above my sprint so it's still it's still at 806 so my first sprint was that's the thing you have to get used to giving it your all so the system here literally tells you it took me a little bit boy my butt hurts <laughs> like I said it's sore as hell and uh so 806, right here, that's the second one. Oh, that was a lot more intense the last time. I'm gonna have to look at my numbers later, but I can definitely tell it was at seven, three days ago. And you can do this, tell me to breathe. And we're doing a cool down. You can't do this like three days. Some people have done it every day. You just gotta be careful that you're not digging into your recovery. People excessively train when they should be watching what they eat. And, you know, that's the big thing. You know, no matter what you do, the only thing that I found that really works and even reading the peer review studies high intensity training of any sort either rapid or slow movement like HIT or the you know, Mike Metzger style or even the Arthur Jones style all that stuff works you just gotta be willing to make the exchange of energy versus risk so here I'm safe I'm on a bike I'm not going anywhere and if I had a bad knee it's the smoothness of this, it's still pretty good. And I do have an ARX machine, so we don't need to do this if we don't want to, because I can get your heart rate just as high on that through static holds. But this is a good additive to any weight training that you do. Contrary to popular belief, something has to give. People respond well to cardio, the problem is, is that they also need to weight train to tell the body, hey, keep that muscle. So there's a fine line between, you know, tearing into your muscle and then, because we want to grow that and shed body weight or body fat. And we're done. Please wait. And I was just, that was it.